Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go. And that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love. And you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah. Promise I won't forget, yeah. Maybe it's something in the water. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go. And that's why I wish you the Good morning everybody welcome back to our channel and today's video is going to be a day in the life um, this is also kind of covering a few different days um, th there are a couple of sections here that I filmed pre-filmed um, you know obviously prior to today um, just to sort of like talk through different bits and pieces and just some things that have been going on here so um, yeah it's kind of like a bit of a mixed bag it's sort of uh, not one day in the life it's kind of over a few days <laughs> in the life if you know what I mean but I'm just uh, for ease of reference I'm just calling it a day in the life and some sort of home updates and bits and pieces like that it's just a bit of a mixed vlog really so today um, I'm just going to be doing a basic tidy up and uh, just sort of getting some things sorted, just putting some laundry in, swapping that over. Once it's done, um, I need to wash up um, the dinner bits because I didn't do it again last night. I really need to get out of that habit and get into the habit of actually doing it every night so that it's one less thing to do the next day. But sometimes when you just kind of have dinner and then we've sort of like got to sort the kids out and, and bits and pieces and you sort of sit down and you don't like want to get back up again. So um, yeah, it's a work in progress. I've, there have been a few nights where I have actually done it. If like say Neil's been, been, been busy sort of uh, playing a computer game with Zach or um, you know, sort of doing bits and pieces with the kids, that's fine, I'd sort of like get on and do it. But otherwise, as a general thing, I'm really, really bad. We're both really bad for um, just leaving it till the next morning. I'm just kind of like, don't worry about it, it's fine. I'll do it tomorrow morning when I get back from taking the kids to school. Um, so, yeah, um, as I'm filming this, it's a Tuesday and it's going to be Zach's birthday coming up in a few days. His birthday's on the 29th. So it's literally this coming weekend, um, like I say, as I'm filming this. And uh, that's one, th one thing that I need to do is wrap some of his presents up. I will insert a segment here talking through the presents that we got. It was one of the segments that I pre-recorded when I actually got the presents through the post. I ordered them online through the website for the Entertainer Toy Shop, which uh, we do have a local store. Um, it's only sort of a few miles down the road, but I just thought it saves me having to sort of like go over there and and sort of like you know get on the bus and and take a trip over there. So I just thought it'd be better to order the stuff online and just get it bought here. So that's what I did. Um, I got those a couple of weeks ago, but like I say, I will insert the clip here, just sort of talking through everything, and um, I'll leave the link for the Entertainer um, in the description box for any of you guys obviously who are watching here in the UK <laughs> and you've got an entertainer or you want to go on the website um, if you've got an entertainer near you um, and you want to sort of get an idea of what's in store um, or obviously go on their website and stuff but yeah so I need to wrap some of Zach's presents um, I think uh, a bit later on in the week um, I may have to get some more wrapping paper or maybe get Neil to get some wrapping paper from the shop when he stops off for Zach's birthday cake um, possibly Thursday or Friday or something because um, his birthday is on the Sunday so um, yeah Neil was going to stop off and, and get his cake um, at the local Tesco shop <laughs> um, on his way home from work or you know when he pops in there to get his lunch in the morning um, one of those days 
so I may have to get him to um, perhaps get a couple of packs of wrapping paper um, if he doesn't um, I mean it's probably cheaper to actually get it in a roll when it goes further rather than just getting a pack of two sheets because I've got a feeling it's only going to do me for a few presents and I've got about um, oh, off the top of my head I think I've got about a dozen presents to wrap up so yeah I think I'm gonna have to sort of perhaps pop into town or something at some point um, I may go tomorrow or Thursday and just grab some wrapping paper I also need to get some birthday cards for him still um, I need to get one obviously from me and Neil for son and also get one from Amelia for brother um, so yeah I, th I think I may well do that and then you know Neil can perhaps pop in and just get the cake um, on Thursday or Friday uh, when he comes back from work but yeah that's so that's an, that's another thing that I need to do um, I also need to put the bedding away and put the uh, the duvet that the kids sleep on that we lay on the sofa um, when we sort of like put the bedding and stuff out just in case the kids come through um, I need to put that in the wash as well because uh, yeah that hasn't been done for a couple of weeks and because it sort of acts as a bottom sheet um, yeah it's obviously been used pretty much every night because <laughs> if it's not Zach coming through it's uh, nine times out of ten it's more Amelia coming through but also the kids the last few nights have actually been sleeping out here a lot so um, so yeah that needs freshening up I need to put that in the wash so I get that done and also I am going to give you an update on a new family pet that um, I recently purchased um, I, I kind of like ordered it between Christmas and New Year or just before New Year I think it was around the 30th of December I think I, I put the order in obviously I didn't get it until the following week um, until the first week of, of Jan um, so I had to sort of like wait a few days or so for it but um, yeah obviously that has since arrived and uh, I will obviously insert the bits here of me unboxing it again like I said that's the other segment that was done on a completely different day to today <laughs> because um, by this time as this is going out I've already had this pet for a few weeks um, it's uh, an unusual pet but having said that there are a lot more people that are kind of getting into uh, owning these particular pets um, but all will be revealed in the uh, video a bit later on so keep watching for that for, for the pet reveal. I'll also give you a, an update or insert an update um, if I don't get around to filming it today I'll, I'll obviously you know film it at some point in the next couple of days and I'll give you an update and you can actually have a proper look rather than um, you know just sort of like relying on pictures or like maybe like little blurry <laughs> blurry clips that are not so clear um, I'll see if I can get the pet out and handle it so you can actually see me holding it and stuff as well but if I don't get to around to, if I don't get around to filming that today then I will most certainly sort of film it at some point over the next few days and then I'll add it, add it to this video as well so you'll get to see that so anyway all become clear I know it sounds like it's a bit of a crazy random all over the place video <laughs> filmed over a number of different days but um, that's kind of you know a little bit of a, a sort of an update that's been going on the last few weeks or since I since I last posted did. so um, yeah so anyway I'm gonna crack on with those bits like I say just putting the bedding away getting some washing in some tumble drying in I did put a load of washing in this morning um, and that needs to go in the tumble dryer and then I need to put the duvet in like I say the bedding that normally goes out on the sofa I need to put that in for washing um, and then get that in the tumble dryer um, so yeah it is currently um, 25 to 10 um, obviously the kids are at school it's it's a Tuesday so yeah it's a school day for the kids and uh, obviously Neil's at work so I'm here on my own and it gives me an opportunity to get stuff done and then yeah we'll see how we we'll see how we get on um, also another thing that you might be able to see just over my shoulder here something a little bit different uh, let me just adjust um, another home update for you um, I I will also I'll also insert a few clips here um, in this video sorry I'll stoop, stoop down <laughs> I'll also insert a few clips here of sort of uh, the general progress of kind of um, you know during the process of actually installing it and also where we're up to now um, but it is it is up and running um, it's been sort of like a few weeks progress between sort of Christmas New Year period and now um, because obviously you know Neil's been sort of like doing it evenings weekends and things like that um, because of work you know having to do it around work but Neil installed it himself um, we've actually got a log burner in the corner of the living room now <laughs> which is lovely it's really nice um, just because uh, just before Christmas things like a week before Christmas um, we ended up having a power cut here for about five hours and as a result obviously we had of course no electric but we had no heating um, because of the boiler is run sort of on the electric so unfortunately we 
got really cold in here, the kids were complaining by the time, or not long before, the, the heating actually, or the electric ended up coming on, and we were able to put the heating back on, um, the kids were kind of fed up and they were like, well, you know, I want my iPad, and obviously no internet and stuff because of no electricity. Um, and yeah, it was a little bit, it did start to get a little bit chilly. It was right in the middle of a cold snap as well, right before Christmas, where temperatures were sort of like minus six, minus seven, um, minus 11 in some places so um, yeah that was a little bit of a struggle but luckily it was only five hours and I do appreciate we're actually luckier than some people I know over in America in recent weeks um, uh, if you're watching over in America the parts that have been affected um, yeah there's some parts that really had it rough like we were complaining here <laughs> in the UK let alone over in America which it was actually twice as cold so um, yeah, we can thank our lucky stars. It was only five hours and then the electricity came back on. I think they'd gone through a cable or something doing some work along the road. And obviously it, it kind of cut all the power out here um, and a few uh, houses sort of along the main road. So uh, yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> it was a bit of a struggle with two young kids. It wouldn't have been so bad, me and Neil, but um, you know, you just kind of get on with it. But with two young kids, they're sort of like, oh, I'm cold, you know, I want my iPad, I'm bored. So uh, anyway, yeah, it came back on, but we just decided, we'd, been, we'd sort of like talked about it prior to that happening, um, but we didn't sort of like take anything seriously. We just kind of like, oh, it would be nice to have a log burner. But obviously because my desk used to be there in that corner, um, there would have been no room to put it. And then we came up with the idea together, me and Neil, that, um, okay, what if I have like a little outside office? So kind of get like a shed or a, a kid's Wendy house or something like that and uh, turn it into a little office um, outside for me. I can put my desk out there and then we can have a log burner. So that's exactly what we did. We purchased um, a used, it was a secondhand playhouse, a wooden playhouse um, from Facebook Marketplace. And Neil obviously went and collected it from the guy. It was local, it was a, a person who lived locally. Went and collected it, bought it back with the help of a friend who had a van so he could obviously like, put it all in. It was in pieces. And then he bought it back and put it all together and then he went about basically putting a new roof on it. It needed a new roof anyway, putting some new felt on the roof and uh, doing insulation and stuff like that, putting some, some insulation in and plasterboarding the inside and then, then sort of like filling it, sanding it down, painting it, all that stuff and put a floor in on it as well. We've got some, I've got some lino, uh, we've got some lino to put it down in there and it's come out really really lovely so um stay tuned for a full office reveal i will get around to filming that at some point in the next week or two um and that will be up here so you'll be able to kind of see i will obviously add um, a little bit of the progress um as as uh, neil was kind of doing it during i didn't film a whole amount of it because obviously i was in here having to look after the kids while he was out there doing bits and pieces on different days and stuff but I managed to sort of like get some little clips and bits and pieces. So I will insert those within the video once uh, in the next week or two, once uh, that video goes up um, as soon as possible, <laughs> fingers crossed. And then I'll obviously show you what it looks like now, like the, the progress when we moved, you know, when I moved my desk and the chair and, and bits and pieces in. Um, the outside still needs painting, um, but we're kind of obviously waiting for the better weather, sort of spring, summer, um, to be able to do that. But it's it's fine for now. The inside is done. Um, Neil also put an electric point in there as well, like an electric socket. So I can obviously do filming and stuff out there if I need to work out there with my laptop and stuff. Um, I've also got like an electric fan heater out there. So I could, I could actually, I haven't been out there yet filming, but um, I could if I needed to um, go and sit out there and have just have the electric fan on just to warm it up. Um, it is very, very noisy though, unfortunately. So I probably wouldn't be able to have that going while I was filming, say for example, reaction videos for my other YouTube channel. But um, I'd have to kind of like go out there, stick the fan heater on for like an hour or whatever, warm it up and then just go out there <laughs> and make the most of the heat the way it is. Um, either that, we have actually got some little electric radiators um, which don't make a noise or every now and again they just click on and off because they've got a built-in thermostat. So I may actually swap it around and take perhaps one of those out instead so I can have some heat while I'm actually still filming and it's not going to be noisy on the camera. Um, it's not going to be picked up on the camera audio. So anyway, we'll see. Um, like I say, that will be hopefully coming up in the next uh, week or two or three <laughs> whenever I get round to it. Um, so this week's video is, like I say, this day in the life and 
yeah, obviously a few few little updates that I've just given you. And then next week's video will be, hopefully, if I can get it edited and done in time, it'll be Zach's birthday vlog. Um, just a little sort of uh, a little video of that of him opening his presents on his birthday. And uh, yeah, um, and then hopefully maybe the week after, um, I'll sort of like film it and. Uh, uh, sort of get it edited and, and bits and pieces and then I can pop that up and you can see it be like a new office reveal um, and I can also give you an update on the pet as well I'll be doing regular updates on on our new pet um, so yeah um, let's get cracking with some bits and pieces first I need to do some bits and then we'll take it from there obviously I'll, I'll sort of like go through the, um, the gifts that we got Zach and I'll get wrapping a few of those once I've done bits and pieces around the house and then I will reveal the new pet to you. <laughs> when I say a new pet, um, I have got one at the moment, um, but I have actually got some more on the way. With this particular pet that I already have, um, I'm thinking that I may actually get at least another one, maybe another couple um, in sort of like the coming weeks or over the next like month or two. Um, I'm just kind of seeing how I go with one at the minute, but I also have ordered um, something different in the way of pets. I've ordered five of them um, and they haven't arrived as yet. I'm waiting for the uh, the seller to obviously let me know that they've been dispatched and uh, yeah, they're little babies. Um, I will reveal that as well and hopefully by the time this video goes up, like I say, like I say as I'm filming this, they haven't arrived yet on this day, uh, being Tuesday, but um, hopefully, yeah, I will uh, be able to film um, whenever they turn up, hopefully this week at some point, um, I'll be able to add that on to the end of uh, the video uh, or near to the end of the video and reveal that pet as well or those pets should I say because like I said there's five of them they're little baby ones so uh, yeah anyway let's get cracking with bits and pieces and then we'll go through Zach's gifts and then um, I will reveal the pet to you or pets <laughs> so I'm going to start with washing up I think first because um, the washing up really needs to be done I just want the sides cleared um, the sinks and the drain and need to be cleaned as well um, they're looking really, really disgusting because they haven't been done um, for over a week actually. Um, I've just kind of rinsed them round and just wiped them down roughly but they really do need to go going. So I'm going to get that done first and then I'm going to sort the bedding out and do the laundry um, and yeah, bits and pieces, whichever order, but washing up first. So here we go. <laughs> I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one see no reason why I should ever let you go mm. I don't want to wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me don't want to wake up no, I don't want to wake up I don't want to wake up without you baby without
wrapped around your finger Tell me what you wanna do I think we're part of something bigger And now my mind is filled with you Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know Baby, with a So now the washing up's done, I'm just going to dry up these bits quickly and put those away and then I will be cleaning the sinks and the drainer. Young 
Now moving into the living room, I'm just going to put all this bedding away and things and just get the sofa straightened out, just put the cushions back and just have a general tidy up in here. And as I said before, I need to put that duvet into the wash um, because it is uh, used as a bottom sheet kind of thing <laughs> for the kids to sleep on uh, if they come out uh, into the living room during the night or anything. So I'm going to pop that in the wash uh, and uh, put some tumble drying on as well. Now I'm just uh, in here giving the windows a quick vac over because there was a lot of condensation on some of the windows so I'm just going to do that quickly. And as you saw in the beginning of the video I uh, I did have this basket of tumble drying that had come out. Um, there was a couple of loads of washing and tumble drying that had accumulated over the last couple of days. So I'm just going to sit down and fold that up, ready to put that away.
So now I'm going to start wrapping some of Zach's birthday gifts here. And as I said before, um, I was waiting for some more wrapping paper. Neil ended up getting me a couple of extra rolls uh, when he stopped off at the local Tesco's. And he also got Zach's cake as well as I'm recording this voiceover. Um, that's all done and ready to go. And I have since obviously gone back and finished wrapping the rest of the presents that I couldn't get wrapped on this particular day. So you'll see also another segment where I'm wrapping presents, but I'm dressed differently. It's because it was the following day Neil uh, actually got got the wrapping paper later on this same day and uh, obviously had to wait till the following day for the kids to be at school <laughs> to be able to finish the wrapping so uh, yeah you'll see it's done on two different days but uh, yeah I'd managed to get it all done
And when Neil went in to get the wrapping paper and Zach's birthday cake, he also picked up a couple of birthday cards. Uh, like I said, there's one from me and Neil, obviously. And then there was one for brother from Amelia for her to write out and give to him. I think Neil picked two perfect cards, actually. This brother one is really, really fun. It's like a little pop-out one, uh, which is very, very cute. And I'm sure he will like the Batman one from us as well, because he likes all things superhero and stuff. So I'm just going to write out the one from me and Neil. And then I'm just leaving Amelia's one to the side so that she she can write on that. the delivery that I've been waiting for our new family pet has arrived <laughs> so I'm gonna show you <laughs> so this is a bit of a random one I have been um, on TikTok I've been watching a lot of videos that are popping up and I even follow some people on the likes of Facebook TikTok Instagram that have these li these little things as pets I decided sometime between Christmas and New Year that I really wanted to get one uh, just one for now. I know some people actually have quite a few of these of these little things, um, but I thought, well, I'll get one and just see how I get on, and then maybe I'll sort of give it a few weeks or so, and perhaps get another one or two more. So, I decided to order one, and it has arrived in this box, and also along with that package, the post lady's just delivered it. Um, she also handed me the other things and this I was hoping this was going to turn up today um, and obviously being the same time as the pet um, it's a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be um, I thought I'd measured it right and it was actually going to be a bit bigger but this is also the enclosure that's arrived for it um, I may have to just keep this one in case I order a baby next time or a smaller one um, and just stick with the what was going to be the makeshift enclosure that I'd actually made out of an old mealworm tub, a plastic tub where I order mealworms for the birds out in the garden, like dry, dried mealworms. I'd given that a clean and I'd sort of like picked up bits and pieces and put that in as a temporary enclosure because I thought this, I thought that this was actually going to be probably about twice the size. <laughs> Um, but I may well actually just keep this for a, an enclosure for a smaller pet in the future if I go ahead and get another one in, in a few weeks or so. Um, but at least it's got like the little terrain bit and stuff already in it so that's why I can just like sprinkle a little bit of soil. Um, also with the pet that arrived um, I have got some soil to put in the bottom of the enclosure that I have already made up. Um, and I've also got some live food for it because it eats live food and I can now reveal that I've actually purchased a tiny little jumping spider 
and I believe the scientific name for it is uh, Phidippus regius or also known as a regal jumping spider. Now I understand that I think this is probably going to be, um, I'm assuming the size probably roughly of my thumbnail or one of my fingernails. They are absolutely tiny anyway but I think this is a slightly bigger one, it's not a baby. Um, I think it's, um, I'm not sure exactly what uh, they call them in stars, it depends on how many times they've molted um, because they do actually shed their exoskeleton, their, their skin and stuff. Um, I'm thinking that this is probably going to be a five, it should be at least a five to be honest because um, by rights I don't think they're actually supposed to ship them out uh, less than five um, because obviously it can be a bit stressful for them if they're tiny babies. Um, so when I say that next time I might actually get a baby, um, I might look into, I don't know, perhaps getting, if I was to get a baby, I would maybe get one from a pet shop, actually go in and physically get one, rather than actually have it sent through the post uh, because of that reason, because it can be quite stressful if they get jumbled around a bit in, uh, in transit, things like that. So um, anyway, this is um, a regal jumping spider. And if you go on TikTok, I'll leave a couple of links for uh, TikTok accounts or Instagram accounts or, or, or something or maybe a couple of videos on YouTube where you can actually go and uh, watch them, uh, look them up. I'll also leave the link of the website that I got it uh, from, this is a UK website, but I'll leave a couple of links as well for other websites that you can get maybe like in the US if you're watching from America. Um, but yeah, if you just go on and do a Google search of like, you know, invertebrate pets, jumping spiders or whatever, you know, purchasing jumping spiders, I'm sure you'll find one that actually delivers to your area wherever you are. <laughs> um, I've got a tiny little spray bottle, it's a little three mil um, fine mist perfume bottle, like a little travel spray bottle. Um, and I've got some water in that, so obviously once I've put um, the soil and stuff in and I've arranged it how I want, I'm going to mist one side of the enclosure just to um, put some moisture in there and uh, yeah um, and then I'll do that every sort of couple of days or something or every, and some people do it like a little bit every day but I'll just sort of like see how many water droplets and do it either every day or every other day or something just as long as there's plenty of moisture in. Um, they do get some uh, obviously like uh, hydration from their food anyway but yeah this will be for sort of like probably just a couple of little squirts every every day or something. So here we go I'm gonna unbox it. Oh this has been exciting. So this box has come packaged up, obviously it's got fragile tape on it and it also has a thing saying living creatures handle with care. Um, so yeah, hopefully it will be okay. Fingers crossed it's gonna be in here okay and well packaged. The reviews that I've read on the website that I got this from, um, everyone sort of says how brilliantly packaged it was and you know the animal, whatever they've got has arrived in perfect condition and things like that. So. Um, and I think it comes with these, these little polystyrene things as well. So it's well padded out. Um, I can already tell that <laughs> um, even before I've opened it. But yeah, um, so let's turn it around. Hopefully you can see. Um, so we'll just get rid of some of this stuff. Um, ooh, crikey. Okay. okay, the first thing that I've, I don't know what that is, I'll have a look in a minute. The first thing I've come across here is the fruit fly culture, which is a whole tub of, whole tub of flightless fruit flies. There's a whole load in there. They are very, very tiny. So I'm thinking if it's a slightly bigger spider, I'll probably need to put a few in. Um, and I think you feed them every sort of few days, depending on the size of it and, um, you know things like that um, these are kept between 20 and 22 degrees so you can keep them at room temperature and stuff and they'll be fine in there you can see loads of them in there um, so that should keep my spood going probably for about a month I think um, they tend to keep for so that's that oh okay right I suppose due to there being a slightly cooler temperature this is the heat pack that it comes with so this was in, in the top of the box here nearby um, it's like right next to this. I presume this is the little package with the spider in because it says fragile and it is bubble wrapped. Um, and this was right next to it. So I think that's the heat pack, um, like a disposable heat pack. They include one of those in, which is really cool because yeah, it means that the spider doesn't get uh, freezing cold. 
um, okay, I ordered two bags, this is that substrate soil, 0.5 litres, so this will be loads, this will definitely, because you don't need to clean out the enclosure that often, um, literally maybe every month or two I think I read, um, yeah, this will, this will basically keep me going for a long time because, uh, yeah, if that's the case, that's going to be a good few months or so worth, actually, maybe more, um, because the enclosure is not that, it's not that big, um, and I'll only need, like, a light sprinkling, probably. I've also ordered a couple of carpets, like, little kind of patches of living moss as well, actual real moss, um, to make it a bioactive enclosure, um, and if I was going to put a little bit of sprinkling of soil in that that's even smaller <laughs> so that's going to last me a long time um i was trying to work out what 0.5 liters was in a bag and i thought it's probably only going to be like like maybe sort of that size and it's ended up coming like that so yeah that's a lot bigger than i thought <laughs> okay so now i am going to undo this little package Because this is the spood. It's obviously, like I say, very well bubble wrapped. So it's very well padded out. It hasn't been shake, shaken around in the box at all. Um, and it's wrapped up in the bubble wrap in a little container here. So I'm just gonna very, very carefully take it out. I'm hoping it's still alive. It looks like it's squashed itself in. You can just about see it. That's literally the size of it. It's that, that is it. I'm hoping it's still alive. <laughs> it does look a bit squashed, like it's literally squashed itself in right at the side. Obviously it's got like tissue paper and stuff in it as well. So we shall soon find out anyway. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Um, and I'm just going to put the soil in the enclosure and just get this set up. I'm going to miss the enclosure. Um, I think I'll do it. Uh, where shall I do it? I'll do it here, I think. enough I think so I've just misted the side of the enclosure just put some a few little water droplets there so that goes perfectly so now now I'm going to open the spider and pop it in its enclosure I'm 
I'm not too sure whether to I think I'll put the fruit flies in afterwards I'll just let it get used to its enclosure first so I'm gonna undo this oh my god it's so cute I can't even deal <laughs> so I'm gonna lift up the, off the cap very carefully and I'm gonna get ready to put it oh it's literally just dropped out <laughs> into the enclosure which is great which is absolutely brilliant it's literally, it's in the enclosure. It's so tiny <laughs> that you wouldn't actually know. It is adorable. Absolutely adorable. Okay, now I don't know if you can see it. It is actually in there. So as I'm filming this and recording this day in the life, um, obviously, like I say, it's a, a few weeks ago that I got her and this was a little bit of footage that I took of her. This was, would have been a couple of days after I got her. I just wanted to kind of let her get settled in for a day or two before I sort of started handling her and things like that. And then a week or so later, um, she actually had a molt because they tend to molt every few weeks or so, um, sort of like every three, four weeks, um, maybe give and take a week or, or a few days here in there and uh, it's where they shed their skin which is called an exoskeleton and these are the pictures of her little exoskeleton that I found in her web. I'd been looking at her for sort of like a, a week or so and I realised that she was kind of in her web a lot and she wasn't really getting out walking around or anything like that and I, I did wonder if she was actually just starting to go into a molt and uh, sure enough literally I checked on her one morning it looked like there were two spiders in her web and uh, I kind of opened up her enclosure and I sort of nudged, nudged her very very carefully to the side and uh, yeah there sure enough there was her exoskeleton <laughs> so this is her um, a couple of days after her molt because I left her for a couple of days just to allow her her new skin and, and her body to re-harden again because when they first come out of an, uh, a molt um, they shed their exoskeleton they are very very soft and they need a couple of days before you start handling them or maybe even feeding them um, so I left it a couple of days and then I sort of like opened up her enclosure and got her out and as you can see she's very fuzzy and fluffy and she's even got a couple of blue spots she's got a little bit more colouring to her um, and she's lightened up um, and also her little teeth her little fangs they were kind of like a deep red colour which you would have seen in that previous photo and uh, they've actually come up sort of like more of a pinky red colour. So yeah, she is a little bit more vibrant as far as the colours go. Um, very, very cute. She's she's come up looking very pretty. <laughs> um, and you'll see this is a different enclosure that she's uh, she's in that I'm taking pictures from. Um, I did end up transferring her over a couple of days after I got her and she settled in. I just decided to take her from the temporary enclosure and go ahead and pop her in that smaller one because uh, previously at the beginning of this section I said that I wasn't sure whether I I was actually going to use that enclosure because I thought it might be a bit small but obviously looking again at it um, I, I it was absolutely perfect um, I do actually have um, I am waiting uh, should be arriving today as I'm doing this voiceover um, I'm waiting for another enclosure I've ordered her another one which is a little bit more sort of square and I think there's a little bit more um, floor space and stuff in it it's roughly the same height and the same sort of dimensions but it just seems to have a little bit more room whereas this little enclosure here is is sort of slightly curved um, so it doesn't seem like there's as much space um, but I want to put some uh, obviously like decor and stuff I will be taking the decor that's in her enclosure here um, the cork bark um, and the little odds and ends um, I've got some more toadstools as well coming just to decorate and uh, this little flower pot will go in um, along with some substrate soil in the bottom just to create a base um so she'll she'll still have familiar things in there and i'm going to pop her little 
um, a brand new little uh, uh, spider hide as well at the top for her. Hopefully uh, that should arrive as well in the next few days. But uh, I mean, for now, obviously she can make a web. Um, you'll see in that vent at the top, she's uh, actually made her little web up there. That's where she molted. And uh, she's also since, <laughs> since making that one, she's moved down halfway down the court bark. She seems to quite like it. And she's wedged herself in a little crevice and made a, a nice thick web in there as well. And she's been sleeping in there for a few days. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think it's, it sort of just depends on how they feel sometimes they want to be high up and they feel safer in that web um, and then other times you know obviously like now the last few nights she's been sort of like sleeping a bit lower down and she seems absolutely fine she's more than comfortable there it's next to the heat mat which is uh, you'll, you'll see here in the shot it's propped up against the wall just to the side of the enclosure um, because you do have to be careful about um, overheating the enclosure they do like it sort of like humid and uh, you have to kind of miss the, the inside of the enclosure and keep it humid in there um, but at the same time you can't allow it to sort of get too overheated because otherwise if you put the heat mat which some people do under the enclosure um, put the enclosure on top then the heat rises and they've got nowhere to go to escape it a little bit so I've figured that it would be better to put it to the side so I've just propped up against the wall and then her enclosure sits next to it Um, so yeah, here um, in this clip, um, she's uh, I, I took her out. Uh, it's been a few days since she last had a couple of fruit flies and things, and I thought I would offer her a mealworm. Um, they do eat live food, so obviously you pop yeah you pop live flies and and little bugs, crickets and mealworms and things in. And uh, I had actually offered her a couple. Um, it was a couple of false starts. <laughs> um, the previous week, I'd sort of a couple of times offered, and she didn't seem to know what to do with it. She kind of turned her back on it. But then I think it could be because she wasn't that hungry, because obviously I'd been giving her fruit flies and things. So. Um, yeah uh, it was obviously just uh, trying to time it right for her to actually feel hungry enough to try and tackle it and she'd kind of bopped it a little bit a couple of times prior to this clip that I filmed and then as you'll see she she ended up uh, sort of sneaking towards it and she just grabbed it and bit down on it and that was it she thoroughly enjoyed that for the next like three or four hours she was <laughs> um, she was kind of on the side of the enclosure and she was uh, having a good old slurp of that so that filled her up um, literally as I'm recording this voiceover uh, she hasn't actually eaten for about five days I think she had a fruit fly yesterday I saw her chomping one she spat the wings out but apart from that she's she's more than fine I mean they will do for a few days or so especially after a mealworm so uh, yeah she's not going to starve her, her bum's still a little bit round which is how you can often gauge if they're hungry or not anyway yeah she's doing doing really really good um, but for now there's also um, I mentioned earlier on in the video I mentioned um, another family pet that we were going to be getting it was uh, the spider was one of a few and this is the other one which has arrived this is a different day and uh, they are five baby stick insects they're Indian stick insects um, I'd ordered them a couple of days before uh, they took a couple of days to arrive in the post um, they arrived perfectly fine safe and sound um, I was kind of hoping they were going to arrive a day a day or so earlier but um, yeah maybe the the post office is still a little bit backed up or whatever but they they were still absolutely fine they were healthy they were moving I didn't lose any like I said I only ordered five and they are absolutely tiny <laughs> I knew they were going to be kind of tiny I could see by the photos that were on eBay when I ordered them um, because they were pretty much about the same size as the guy's thumbnail um, or maybe just a little bit bigger um, but I didn't realize quite how tiny they were going to be um, and I've got all of these big bramble leaves as you'll see this is a temporary enclosure again I made it out of um, uh, a big sort of a bird peanut tub that I had spare and I just sort of obviously cleaned it up and uh, and, and used this for the time being while I was waiting for their new um, proper enclosure to arrive which um, hopefully fingers crossed as I'm sat here recording this voiceover it will be arriving at some point today or maybe tomorrow but for now this is absolutely fine I've kind of done it as a makeshift enclosure and uh, I just uh, put some kitchen roll a couple of pieces of kitchen roll down the bottom and just lightly misted that because um, again you need sort of like humidity and moisture they do get the moisture from the leaves that they eat but they also like to slurp maybe a couple of water droplets and things like that on the leaves so uh, it also and it also helps um, having the humidity in here when they decide to molt as you can see they are absolutely tiny this is one of them that I got out this was the last one that I put into the temporary enclosure when I was emptying them from that little pot and uh, yeah I just thought I would uh, obviously leave this one out and let it have a walk around and show you the other ones happily went into the 
into the leaves and stuff and they because they are so tiny I'm, I think I'm going to struggle a little bit to find them when it comes to changing the leaves over and the enclosure so I'm going to have to be super careful um, like I say luckily there's only five at the minute and you know obviously by the time they maybe start laying eggs about four or five months old I think um, they'll probably have a few molts first before they start laying leg eggs or anything but um, yeah hopefully by that time they'll be quite a bit bigger and I'll, I'll they'll be easier to spot but uh, for now they are super tiny I mean you can see on my finger um, this is absolutely diddy um, and they're all like this a similar sort of color um, I think one or two of them are slightly uh, greener but they're sort of like this very pale browny sort of green color um, and they are so cute and I'm assuming these are all going to be females because uh, when I um, ordered them um, I was obviously reading up about them and by all accounts when the eggs don't get fertilized the um, females still hatch eggs uh, the females still lay eggs but because they're not fertilized they will all the baby insects that come out will be females so um, I'm assuming these are all females but they will continue to lay eggs so I'm gonna have to uh, try and keep it under control <laughs> or I'll end up with millions of stick insects but these are super easy pets to look after very low maintenance you can literally just go out to any fields or down footpaths or woodland or parks or anything where maybe they haven't sprayed anything on on the hedges and stuff and just look for wild bramble obviously go out in your garden if you're sort of do, doing gardening and you're cutting brambles down as long as you haven't sprayed any of your plants with anything um, and obviously wash anything you get thoroughly the privet the hawthorn rose uh, leaves as well uh, the oak leaves and yeah they're just super easy to look after and uh, I think they're going to be a lot of fun as well to watch to watch them grow and uh, and obviously lay eggs of their own So it is now 25 to 3 and I need to go and leave to pick the kids up um, in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to end the vlog here I think. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, um, a few random things going on like kind of exciting updates. Um, yeah, a lot, quite a bit's happened <laughs> since, uh, since I last posted but uh, yeah, very very exciting. It's an ongoing thing with um, a couple of them so obviously stay tuned for for any further updates and stuff coming up hopefully in the next few weeks or whatever once everything's kind of completed and 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 done and dusted um and if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all of our other videos i try and post a video every week every sunday um and obviously now we've had a nice long break for christmas and new year i've i've sort of like you know just taken my time to kind of ease back into stuff and i gave myself um quite a bit of time off a little bit more than what i actually wanted but um i think it was a well-deserved break i was kind of at that point where I just sort of felt like I was flagging and I was I was sort of like reaching a little bit of you know, the edge of a burnout so um, yeah it was nice to have uh, have a, a, t a total break from everything from having to film or upload even though like I say um, you know some of these bits and pieces I have actually pre-filmed um, but yeah rather than actually sort of filming full-on um, over a day or whatever um, it was nice to just have that have that break have that breather hopefully from now on I'll be back every week every sunday with a new video for you and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching bye guys